started then. Okay, so where should we begin? Yeah. Well, first I just want to thank you for taking the time. Oh, no. The pleasure and privilege is all mine. So, uh, let's just start from the beginning. Um, can you tell me about how PMM got started? And yeah. Okay, so... Um, PMM got started about 10 years ago. Um, I was already single and, um, you know, from being in a relationship for a long time and always being, I always felt like I was held back from doing things like artistically that I wanted to do or a certain way I wanted to be or look. Um, I just know that once I was already single and trying to figure out how was I going to do to set myself apart and stand out and you know I was always intrigued with the pinup scene and the lowrider scene, the rockabilly scene. I just didn't have an outlet to enter it. So um, I always had a passion for trying to do something creative so I decided I wanted to start a clothing brand. Um, and then just pink pink was something that uh, has to do with uh, many elements like for being a strong independent woman you know you always think of like people want you to be like the soft you know girl oh you know that's where the whole pink comes from for being very feminine and the mink mafia the pink mink mafia is more like the edginess to it so as I started to promote my clothing brand I did a lot of uh, shoots that were a little bit on the edgy side so there's a picture, actually this one, this is actually me. Um, I decided to do a, a chola shoot with a 12 gauge shotgun and there's a 40 in the front, 50 in the back. And when people saw this, they had no idea it was me. And back then I didn't really have a lot of tattoos. Actually, I, I had very few. Um, but this was the one that created the buzz when I started um, I created my uh, MySpace account mm -hmm. and people had no idea what Pink Mink Mafia was. So I was always being asked, are you guys like a car show, a club, a girl club? Like, I don't get it. And that's exactly what I wanted people to do. And being the only person and only model for my company, I just started doing a lot of photo shoots. I would wake up one day, like when I did this shoot, I just woke up one day and I said, I'm going to do a chola shoot. Went to the swap meet, got me my Cortez, <laughs> got me my chola pants, everything. And all I needed was a car and the location. And I figured that out within the hour. So as I was going to the location, I found, uh, I saw a guy with an old school like bomb driving this way and I was going this way. And I was like, that's the car I need to use right now. And he was driving in a Zusa with this old lady. And you could tell he's a veterano. So I managed to somehow get him to pull over and he told him my idea how you know I just wanted to like do a quick photo shoot and he was just so all about it. And he said, okay, I'll be there in an hour. I was like, yes. And so he made it out there and he had the coolest car ever. It had like great plates and silver. And back then I didn't even know how to put on a bandana right. And he was just like laughing like this girl is trying to get chola. <laughs> He's like, this is the way you fold it. So it was it was really like a bunch of laughs. And, uh, the main thing I always wanted to do is just be artistic. You know, I'm not trying to glamorize a whole like gangster lifestyle or anything. But in reality, like, I grew up around that. So I'm just trying to use it in an art form where, hey, this is part of our culture. Um, so that's pretty much how PMM started. Um, just me. I hate to use that word, boring yourself out <laughs> on MySpace, just pictures, pictures, adding, adding, and this is what I'm doing. And I remember um, when I did my first clothing item, um, it was a um, pencil skirt with the other was Marcos skirt, so that was like my first thing I wanted to do. But I didn't have a top to go with it, and one day I went to an under swap meet, and I wanted to just do something just for myself, like PMM for short. And it was so simple. It was on a tank top. It was like a heat press decal lettering. So when I put it on, like the letters got all crazy, like they stretched. 
And I just took a crazy picture like in my car and I think I think I had this tattoo. Um, or I had a I don't know, I was just I just posed with it and people right away started commenting like, dude, that's a cool shirt, where'd you get it at? Like where can I buy it? And I was like, oh my god, I just got this in the shop. And so I was like, okay, so maybe I gotta put a hold on these dresses that I'm making and I'm gonna start making tank tops. And that has been my number one seller since. Like it just doesn't go out of style and I see people tagging it and then they buy one and right away they gotta do a selfie, which is awesome. Um, but uh, when I finally was able to do my line of skirts, I got together with uh, lots of artists actually that day. It was a really huge photo shoot. It got so big that people thought it was an event. Um, I had green spans. Um, we held it in a location in Glendora, so it was a really nice private estate house. So green spans was there. Um, Danny Del Paz showed up. I had some guys like do suit suit, like the clothing brand. I had about 12 like old school bombs show up. I had about 15 models, and it was just like this crazy event. I had a chef there, I had a bartender there, I had photographers, like people thought like, oh my god, we're at I wanna take it to this event. <laughs> it was pretty badass. I had a lot of like well known people there show up and ever since then I've just been blessed to be always constantly working with like a lot of amazing people and you know the girls I've used, there's just endless. There's just like endless pictures that we do with it. I know I said a whole mouthful right there, right? No. <laughs> It's good to know. It's good to hear the story. Yeah, don't get me started with PML. Like, <laughs> talk your ear off. That's what we're here for. Um, so, how many members do you have these days? Um, it's really hard to keep track because I do have uh, a revolving uh, door with girls because, you know, life happens. You know, girls come in it because they have the time. You want a model, you got a lot of first timers, I got girls that want to just uh, collaborate and be involved with the charity events that I do, get involved with them all together. Um, I got girls from different chapters all over the, the country. So I could say I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of like models everywhere. I can't really give you a specific number, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll, you'll see all these like different chapters pop up. Like uh, I have PMM Japan. And Brazil, I have came in France, and I have some girls in New Mexico. I just started a chapter in Florida, um, and I just like keep going until I cover all the things. So you travel a lot? I don't travel a lot because unfortunately I do work a lot. Um, this is like a base where I do everything. So not only do I handle the clothing brand, but on um, my personal side, I, I am a uh, professional, so I do have an established career, which is a uh, corporate field, which means I look nothing the way I look right now. <laughs> I cover up from pretty much everything. Because I work in human resources, so I have to look professional in order to be taken seriously. Uh, which I disagree with that, because I feel like as long as you have the education and the talent, it shouldn't matter what you look like, and that's part of why a lot of people embrace my clothing brand is because I put it out there, you know, try to like get away with like do away with stereotypes. It's more about being a, an individual, but still be able to do what you're getting paid to do. Like it shouldn't matter. What you're so hopefully one day that will change. I know there's a lot of friends that I have that are in law enforcement or have corporate jobs that hate it because they just want to have like their knuckles tattooed, their necks tattooed and you know it's just a lifestyle you want to you choose to live by but you know certain restraints like jobs prevent you. I mean I've gotten to a point where I really don't care and that's why I've gone as far as like tattooing my neck. I just deal with it. I mean I'll tell you it sucks in the summer. <laughs> It's so hot, but it's a small price to pay.